Sisonga, and I'm here in the sauna. I have not been here since pre-corona, the beginning March 20th, 19th. Oh my God. <laughs> when the shit hits the fan or when you just get too emotional over other people's problems or life in general, I say sweat it out. So I'm sorry I look like shit. My hair is oily because I put a lot of oil in it to moisturize, you know, and I dyed my own hair. So it's a bit wacky anyway but i'm here in the sauna because i believe if you detox if you sweat the toxins out of your body you also help yourself relieve stress you get rid of stress i want to show you there it is on the steam and so good in the sauna so wonderful sauna anyway you gotta come here you gotta try it so this is at the gym hello everyone was Are you ready, ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> it was a crazy day yesterday in my house. Cheers. So, my eyeliner on my eyes. I slept on my makeup yesterday. Had a, my roommate had a bit of a crisis. And so, you know, it's been really stressful. At home, I always send him love because he's in a lot of suffering and pain at the moment. But I feel like for the rest of us, those of you who are with people that you're taking care of, or if you're dealing with a lot of stress, or if you're really emotional, if you get really sensitive, or you just feel life is overwhelming at times, and you just want to decompress, come to the south. In your gyms, look for the aquatic area. You can look online, and you just... Hello, everyone. I'm just taking a little breather from the sauna. It's been a wonderful journey to, get, to come here. I haven't treated myself to the sauna since before Corona and I can really say this is so good to detox me. I can feel that I got rid of so much dirt from my skin but also from my soul. I was just feeling so overwhelmed with situations that were happening where I live and you know there's, there's a fine line between helping people and then when you realize that everybody has to make their own decisions and we're all responsible for our own life but and to be patiently there but also creating your boundaries and learning that if people don't want to take care of themselves there's just a fine line between self-destruction and and caring for people you know I don't know if you know what I mean that when you see people that they're trying to almost destroy themselves because there's so much pain and you don't know what to do for them and you feel so helpless that you stop taking care of yourself so that's why I came to the sauna today I thought I just have to unwind and I didn't know I felt that I needed to really detox myself of all my negativity and stress and over emotionality getting too involved in other people's situations which happens when you feel for other people but you realize if you start taking care of people too much that you almost start babysitting them then they're not learning to take care of themselves and they're not learning to reflect on what's happening in their lives so it's a really fine line and I don't know what to think about that but I'm here at the sauna and it's been really fantastic for me to come back to my own energy my own space and learning that I have to take care of myself as well you know, I have to be priority number one that if you don't take care of yourself you can't take care of other people and the same thing is if you bring the horse to the water but the horse doesn't drink doesn't drink it that's that's not your fault because everybody makes their choices so we have to allow people to take responsibility for their lives so, so that's why I'm here in the sauna I felt I really needed to, to make my self-care a priority more and more so I hope this inspires you to go to your sauna or go to the hot tub because it's really a wonderful way to do tubs. Anyway. I don't want to do too long for you on camera just because I'm afraid of my phone getting water damage. But this is a wonderful way to stretch out your body in the sauna. Gentle stretches. Water pool, the hot tub hydrotherapy this is so good on so many levels i've been here for over an hour not literally in the sauna i take breaks i go in and out and as you can see i bring a lot of water i have coconut water i drank about two liters of water and i have coconut water with me to hydrate 
So the sauna is so good to detox, you know, to unwind, to unstress. I have a lovely angel here who's a truck driver, so he's holding the camera to take this video. God bless you. Um, because I came here alone, I don't know anybody as crazy as me who wants to sweat, but I believe when you're sweating, you're getting rid of the toxins from inside. But also our brain gets toxic. We have so much stress. We take the emotions of other people and whatever's happening in the world, and they become our own. Sometimes we don't know how to, to stay in our own energy, stay in our own center, and not get involved in the situations that are going on outside of us. And you know, we live in a crazy time where you know, we're all affected by each other. And so I haven't been here since last year, March 20, 2020, when the corona lockdown began in Melbourne, Australia. I used to come here almost daily for about an hour you know, after my work, and it would really, really help me. It would really transform my energy. You know, so if I was stressed out and feeling negative and you know, just aggravated, I would come here and I would feel like everything was melting away, like my brain was getting like a, a squeezing of all the toxins, you know? And so I think for people suffering from mental health issues, from depression, bipolar, schizophrenia, for people with arthritis or injuries, this is a wonderful place to come. And this is in an aquatic center in a gym. So, you know, your public gyms, if they have aquatic centers, you can ask them, do you have the spa facility, the sauna and the steam room and the hot tub? Because this is such a wonderful rehabilitation, not just for your body, but also for your mind. Because once your body feels clear and you feel relaxed, you're not operating from that fight or flight zone, then you can actually make good choices, good decisions. And I know it's hard for people who are living in pain, if you have injuries, if you have diseases, if you have chronic illnesses, I feel, I feel you and I send you a lot of love, but I pray for you to come to the sound and see if you can start detoxing all that stuff out of your body, especially if you're taking medications. You know, medications, you don't know the ingredients, we don't know the cocktail and how it's interacting with the neurotransmitters in our brain. And so we come to the sauna to really, for many different reasons, everybody comes for a different reason. I come to really let go of stress and you know, I'm an empath, that means I'm a very sensitive person, that means I feel the energy of other people, I feel people's problems, I try to help them, but sometimes you can't help people, sometimes you have to know the line between people helping themselves and between you helping, so you help people that want to help themselves, so we are getting out of that victim mentality, so coming to the summer is like that self-care, that self-love, and I know I'm talking really fast because I feel bad to inconvenience my cameraman, but I really believe this is the shit, this sauna. And I put oil, extra virgin olive oil on my hair as a conditioner. So when I take my shower, I brought my hair dryer. You come ready, like you're going to this spa. I brought my hair dryer, shampoo, conditioner, loofah, everything. I take a shower, and then I'm like brand new. But you come in here, and it's like imagine you're squeezing squeezing a dirty towel and sometimes our soul is like a dirty towel with so much accumulation of betrayal stress things like this so we come here to detox not only our body but also our mind and so important to hydrate yourself drink a lot of water i got this at target it's a five dollar bottle actually no it's at target for five dollars but i was not clever so i bought this at the health food store for 20 so be clever about where you get your plastic bottles Glass is always better, but not in the sauna. So there's a lady behind you. Hello, Miss. We're just making a quick video. Yes, and so always keep yourself hydrated because remember the body is mainly made up of water. And if you're not drinking enough water, it means you're not getting rid of the toxins, mental toxins, environmental toxins, physical toxins. We just want to get rid of all the junk when we can. And I know people don't have time, but you know what? We gotta make ourselves a priority. We gotta make our health, our mind, our mental health, all a priority. And remember, you can bring the horse to water, but if the horse doesn't drink it, what to do? So it's your responsibility to, I'm even drooling at the mouth, I'm foaming at the mouth. You, your responsibility to take care of yourself. So good, that was worth it. I washed my hair with shampoo, conditioner, because I had put oil in it, I had put extra virgin olive oil. And then this, you know, I've been doing this deep conditioning since I, you know, bleached my hair myself at home. And I'm not a professional hairdresser, so I put the extra virgin olive oil. I got into the sauna for about two and a half hours in and out, you know, so not two and a half hours the whole time, but literally like five minutes in, then take a cold shower, like freezing cold, and we start to hyperventilate and then go right back into the sauna. And I drink a lot of water, and now I can 
say to you, I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling like a brand new person. I really, really recommend you go to the sauna if you can. So that's it. Have a beautiful day and check out your sauna at your public gym.